Here's some of the stories trending this week at NASA. NASA's Terry Virts and Expedition 4243 crewmates Anton Shkoparov of the Russian Federal Space Agency and the European Space Agency's Samantha Kristoforetti launched November 23rd at 4.01 p.m. Eastern Standard Time from Baikonur, Kazakhstan. Almost six hours later, their Soyuz spacecraft docked to the International Space Station, where they joined Expedition 42 Commander Barry Wilmore of NASA and flight engineers Alexander Samakutayev and Elena Sarova of Roscosmos, returning the station crew to its full complement of six people. On November 24th, ground controllers uploaded instructions for the station's recently installed 3D printer to make the first 3D printed part in space a spare faceplate for the printer itself. The 3D printer uses a process formerly known as additive manufacturing to heat a plastic filament and extrude it one layer at a time to build parts. The device is part of the station's 3D printing and zero-g technology demonstration, which aims to show the printer can be used to make parts and tools on long-duration space flights. Following completion of the recent flight readiness review, NASA has the go to proceed toward the December 4th first flight test of the Orion spacecraft from Cape Canaveral Air Force Station. The FRR is a rigorous assessment of the spacecraft and the mission operations and support functions needed to successfully complete the flight. The two-orbit, 4.5-hour test of the uninhabited Orion will evaluate many of the systems critical to safety before the capsule begins carrying crews to new destinations in the solar system, including an asteroid and on the journey to Mars. NASA has approved five new airborne Earth science missions to begin in 2015. The new campaigns will cover a wide range of research, including the long-range transport of air pollution across the Pacific, the impact of tiny airborne particles from living organisms on ocean ecosystems, identifying the amount and sources of regional carbon dioxide and other greenhouse gases, and other investigations. NASA's host of Earth science missions are designed to answer some of the critical challenges facing our planet today and in the future. This is smoked turkey. So I'm going to have some smoked turkey. Space Station Commander Barry Wilmore recently talked about his Thanksgiving Day menu and how thankful he is for the opportunity to work on the important research conducted aboard the station. So with that, I say to all of you there, happy Thanksgiving. May it be a blessed day for every one of you. Don't eat too much. And that's what's up this week at NASA. For more on these and other stories, follow us on social media and visit www.nasa.gov twan.